We are back in Florida. Oh. Toby nice. Toby's been annoying me to be honest. <laughs> Apple we're... banana and then we ate like <laughs> All right guys, we are back in Florida and this is our first outing back in Florida and of course we had to get milkshakes. It is fall and my inner white girl needed pumpkin spice And by fall milkshakes. we mean it is a cold, cold 88 degrees and that is fall in South Florida. Because the weather is so nice, we're gonna do some hiking tonight. We also got something really think, nerdy. Super nerdy. Like, it's the most nerdy thing. Whoa, look at that girl's. Okay, back to it. Okay. Were we telling them what we got? No, we're not telling you. We got something really geeky. And I'm excited. I think it's gonna really help us get out into the field in areas that are harder to get to. Because we're lazy. Yeah. So we'll show you what they are tonight, though. Because there are so many agamas everywhere. I'm like, looking. see it, Tope Tope? You see the agama? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go target a species that we found in other countries. It's an exotic species here in Florida. We've never seen one here in Florida. We're probably not gonna find it. If well, we do, it'll be exciting. If we don't, we'll tell you what we failed at finding. Mm -hmm. So also you gotta keep watching to find out what we're looking for today and tonight. Toby on Toby's has never true. seen one. Wish us luck everyone. And let's see if we can find some cool stuff, especially our target. Check back in once we hit the field. Toby, please don't butcher the straw. Look at this, we just get back to Florida. Our first snake on our first outing is a rattlesnake. A baby diamondback, how cool. I thought it was a pygmy, it was just so tiny looking when we were driving. And no, I said it, I said it looked like a diamondback. And look at that, a baby rattlesnake, our first day. What the heck is up with that? Toby's not impressed, we saw so many rattlesnakes on our west trip. It's so cute. It's tiny. Oh, dude, you want to take a photo of me and Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. You little sh There he goes. This is the smallest island glass lizard I've ever seen in my life. I'm gonna get you out of the road. Oh my gosh, that thing is so fast. Go! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Come on. Dude, it's the tiniest island glass lizard. It's I've, so little. I've never seen an island glass lizard this small. Toby, be nice. Be nice. Hey, let go. Let go, Toby. Let go. Be nice. <laughs> It was skipping and jumping. Okay. Tope, say hi. I'm always afraid like lizards, he's just gonna grab them and chomp. <laughs> he said hi. All right, now you're back into your smoothie. All right, guys, we found that little EDB right at dusk, which was super cool. Uh, I love EDBs. You guys know they're like my favorite snake in Florida. And uh, now the sun's gone down, so let's do some uh, nighttime, nighttime cruising. Yep. Let's do it. Sorry, I'm in a bad mood because Toby's been annoying me, to be honest. <laughs> Listening to these two fight is like my favorite. Dude, stop, Toby. Dude, he's being bad. Today. He's been crying. That's why. Him, did you see the light turn on? He just turned. Get, get. I've been giving. I let him have an entire Come apple here. banana and then we ate like Who just turned chips on the, and stuff. Did you just turn on the spotlights? Yeah. He just turned on the big spotlights. Is that that's what that light was? Was bad boy Toby. Turning on the spotlights. He, oh, oh, he just put. He just, I can feel how full. We, we gotta do a diaper change. All right, guys, diaper change time. Gross. <laughs> Look, guys, this is a nice little surprise. Hey, what an incredible night. A good sized mud snake. He's all defensive, he's trying to be scary. He's, uh, the cool thing is the mud snakes act like they're very defensive, like they're gonna bite you, but they actually never bite you. 
And these guys are super, super cool. They consume an aquatic salamander called sirens and infumas, which I think we've showed a few of those in videos. They have this bright coral colored belly. They use it as a defense when you approach them. See how they flip the tail up and they'll raise those bright colors to act like they're a dangerous or venomous snake. This is so amazing. Muds are one of my more favorite native snakes in Florida. They're just so cool looking. They look so toxic, but they're not. And like Red said, they really don't bite. No. And they are so amazing. We used to actually catch a lot of these snakes, but we have not been seeing many in the last couple of years. We had a video with a sickly one that we found. But this has turned into an incredible night uh, out here in South Florida. Toby's like, can, like can't decide whether he wants to eat the mud, eat the bugs, or touch the mud snake. And there's a lot of cottonmouths in South Florida, so. Yeah. <laughs> Toby, did you like the mud snake? What do you think? Snake of mud? And Rhett, why are they called mud snakes? Because they live in the mud for emphemas. I guess so. There you go. Toby's squinting at it. Are like blinding? A... Come here, squig a little squirm. Beautiful red rat snake. Uh, this is a Miami face. Yeah, it's gray and red. Just slowing him down for a quick video, and then we'll let him go on his way. Love, love red rat snakes. Especially gorgeous ones like, okay, it's okay, buddy. Super beautiful. Okay, okay, there you go. On your way. Okay, Woo. Oh, are... oh my goodness, Guys, we're back we... at it. <laughs> We I are thought, catching I, so much stuff. I thought we weren't fighting anymore, but we are. <laughs> this is, we are having such a good night cruise and we are getting some good stuff. We are gonna keep rolling, keep finding stuff. Toby's gonna keep eating bugs. Look how big this bug tummy is. We're gonna have to change the diaper again soon because of all the bugs he's eating. We haven't found he, the target species. We told you we are keeping a secret yet, so it's still a secret, so keep watching. Yes, and if we fail, we'll tell you what it was. And obviously, we're gonna keep coming back until we find it because that's how we do things. Toby's favorite thing to do is bite. Yes. See, bite. Yes. And then what I do when he bites me? <laughs> you bite him back. Ah, ah, God, shin, ah. <laughs> I'm ready to go catch snakes. I'm tired of getting bit. Let's go get bit by some snakes. Let's go. Woo! All right guys, it is that time of year where the baby snakes are out, especially the venomous ones. Here's a gorgeous young Florida cottonmouth. So this is two of the four species of venomous snakes that we have here in South Florida. We've seen the diamondback tonight, and now we got a cottonmouth. What a good night. And the cool thing about the cottonmouths when they're really little Look at the base of their tail. They have that little green tail tip and they use that to do something called caudal luring. They flick it around and wait for little frogs and lizards to chase it, come over and bite it. And these, we don't have copperheads here in South Florida, but these are very closely related to copperheads. Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh, we are down by the coast and there's a hatchling croc in the road. I have never seen a crocodile this small. Um, we're gonna stop and wait for him to cross because traffic will be coming. Uh, I cannot believe this. This is down off of a canal where we sometimes see crocs. Holy smokes. I totally thought it was a sleeping iguana in the road. And we stopped traffic for it to cross. It is tiny. It literally looks like a toy. Smaller than like a baby gator. Oh, it's, yeah, it's way skinnier than a baby gator. He's lost, I feel bad. So, at least we uh, allowed him to get out of the road and out of harm's way. This was such an amazing thing to see. We're so grateful we got to see a baby croc and uh, allow traffic to stop so he could get out of the road. And now we're gonna keep going, guys.
Tay, what'd we get? Right here, if you look to your left, we got brand new e-bikes. Also known as electric bikes because we're lazy. <laughs> And we had to put a different seat on Taylor's because she's so short. I'm so short that like, see how tall it still is for me? It came even taller and I, I kept falling off. This is our way of toting him around town. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just strapped it on because we just got these and we haven't figured a good way to do it. But anyhow, let's take him out. We're going to go for a quick ride because it's already almost one in the morning. We've been running around finding some great stuff and we're going to see what we can find. You look exhausted, Tay. Are you exhausted? Are you mad that I'm dragging you around? Oh, the plate is hot. Okay, can you see everyone? This bed is a mess. We're still trying to figure out the logistics of this packing bikes ordeal. But we didn't bike long because we didn't really find much and it was a pretty short little loop for what we were looking for. And what were we looking for, guys? We were looking for boa constrictors. Not pythons, but boas. We've seen hundreds and hundreds of pythons. That was us, uh, but yeah. <laughs> but we've actually found a bunch of boas in other places, and we're not gonna deprive you guys of boa footage. We'll real quick slap in some boa footage of our other herping ventures in other countries. Uh, we've been out all night, and check this out. Now uh, they've been biting me all over too, and they smell nice. Taylor and I caught a whole pile of invasive boa constrictors. Uh, here, they're not native to the island of Aruba. Uh, they're kind of like the Burmese python in the Everglades. So we're pretty familiar with looking for boas, uh, animal we've looked for just in different scenery. We didn't uh, get our target, so a little disappointing, but we didn't have much hope anyways because it's not a huge population of them here in Florida. We saw some native species today yes. that were just far cooler than any invasive you're ever gonna see in Florida. Oh yeah, you can't be a baby crocodile and oh. a baby rattlesnake and, and a then a nice snake. mud snake you can't you can't beat that that's a good yeah, like, day that was one we, today was quality over quantity so we had a pretty successful day it's about two or something in the morning it's almost so three three so we're gonna take a little nappy we're definitely scrunched we like to cuddle so it's okay it was an awesome day i hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us yet again here in florida and don't forget to like subscribe share and hit the notifications button to help us out okay please and we'll see you next time good night good night say good night <laughs> good night everybody good night night times sleepies uh -huh.